Hello, my name is Kimberly Poulard. I am a fifth grade teacher at John L. Laurie in St. John the Baptist Parish. I teach both math and science. I will be teaching a fifth grade Eureka math lesson. We are currently on module four, which focuses on multiplication and division of fractions and decimals. My lesson objective expectation is to relate fractions as division to fractions of a set. In preparation to teach my lesson, I did a number of things to prepare. I created my lesson plan. I also completed the problem set and exit ticket prior to the lesson. I do this in anticipation of any student misconceptions that we may come across. I also read over the concept development and pull out questions for my students. This lesson builds on my students' prior knowledge of several things. For instance, changing an improper fraction to a mixed number, repeated addition of fractions with like denominators. Additionally, they are moving from fractions as division to fractions of a set. This lesson will help students connect to the overall goal of multiplying and dividing fractions. This is an inclusion class. I have several students with exceptionalities. They are hearing impaired as well as specific learning disabilities. Additionally, I have several diagnosed ADD, ADHD students. To support our, all learners in my classroom, my students are grouped by mixed abilities. Thank you. Okay, good morning again. Okay, so let me tell you about our week. Today we are going to do lesson six of module four. Tomorrow we will do lesson seven. And Thursday we'll do lesson eight, and then we'll have our quiz on Friday. Okay, if you look up here, our objective for today is to relate fractions as division to fraction of a set. Let's think about what we did last week. What did we do with fractions last week? What, what do you remember about last week? We'll give you about 10 seconds to think. Dominic? Dividing by whole numbers? What do you mean by that? Like 3 divided by 4, which equals 3 fourths. So 3 divided by 4 equals 3 fourths, okay? The fraction is 3 fourths, okay? What else, Marissa? We use line plots. We use line plots for what? For, like, for fractions to figure out what the measurement was. Okay, for fractions and to figure out what a measurement was, okay? Because we had to find equivalent ones, right? Okay, what else? Kara? We did word, word problems. We also did word problems. Okay, so if you look, relate fractions as division, that's what we did last week, right? This week we're doing fraction of a set. Think about that. What does fraction of a set mean? What do you think that means, Mason? Like a fraction, like two fractions. You think that's equivalent fraction. You need some more things done? Okay. Rashad? Like, say so you had like one fourth times something, mm -hmm. and then a set of it would be like three fourths times. Hmm. We're, we'll, we'll go back to that to see if that's correct. Okay. Anybody? How many of you bake? Okay. Or how many um, do recipes besides baking? Okay, sometimes you might need to um, double your recipe, right? So, so we use that every day. What about if you go shopping? Do you? Well, maybe. You might need to know the fraction to understand maybe how much a sale is, right? So they're in our everyday um, life, okay? Okay, um... Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is our sprint. Today's sprint is exactly what we did last week. Um, divide, division of whole numbers. Once you get your sprint, I want to see that you're ready. Make sure you are on side A. Thank you, Dominic and Pete. He is ready to go. Okay, I see a bunch of people ready. Okay. Ready? Set? Think. One, two, 
Okay, you need to circle the last one you did with your pen. Okay, we're ready? One half? Yes. One third? Yes. One eighth? Nine and five sixths? Yes. Seven and seven eighths? Wow. Write down how many you got correct. Okay. Okay, stand up. Let's see. Does my VIP have an, um, a, something that they... Yeah, uh, chop style. Chop style, okay, good. And one more. One more. Choose somebody. Choose one person. Jordan. Jordan. IDK. What's IDK? Oh, okay. Okay, one, two, three. Chop style. <laughs> IDK. Okay, turn down. Side B, remember you want to improve by at least one. Okay, circle the last one you did. One third, one fourth, one half, seven and five eighths, seven and seven nine. Nice. Wow. Okay, write down how many you got correct. Then write down how many you improved by. Yes, Vivian, did you have a question? For three, you said one half. Yeah. No, one tenth. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, any, okay who improved by at least one? No, I didn't improve by Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. More than five? Uh, more than six. Seven, eight, nine, wow, ten? More than ten? Oh my gosh, how many, Andy? Wow, good job, good job. Men, the problem so real quick. Um, everybody turn to that. Application problem quickly. Thank you to those students who have their application problem out. Um, Christian, you can look on um, Renaya. Olivia is half the age of her brother, Adam. Olivia's sister, Ava, is twice as old as Adam. Adam is four years old. How old is each sibling? You take diagrams to show your thinking. When you did your word problem, are you, did you do RDWA? Yes. So who thinks that they would have gotten all four points for, did you show that you read it? Raise your hand if you showed that you read it. Did you draw a tape diagram? Yes. Did you write out a word of uh, a problem? No. Yes. 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 Why not? I, I just did this and I wrote my sentence. Okay, well you need it. Okay. And what about an A? Okay. What well, um Kara do random? Christian. Christian. Christian, Christian um found a friend since you don't um have your journal today. Jordan. What do you think? I alright, so um I what's the video? Olivia was two years old. Um uh, and Ava was eight years old. Do y'all agree? Yes, ma'am. Half? That means what? Half of what? Half of what? Okay. Four years old. How old is it? Each sibling. I'd like to know how should your tape diagram look? So you're going to draw a box with three, um, with, um, oh, with, three um, with two lines in it, and you're going to go two, four, and then eight. Oh, perfect. So do you agree? What information did we know? We know Olivia is what, Marissa? Uh, two. No, half no, the Adam. age of her brother. And, and we know that Adam is four. four. So we know he's four years old. So we know half of four is two. And then for Ava, we know that she is um, twice as old as Adam, right? And how would you find hers? How would you find it? Four times two. Four times two. So that would be eight years old. Okay, on your whiteboards, real quick, write a complete number sentence using the expression. They gave you an example. 
5 divided by 3 equals 5 thirds. First one, 4 divided by 2, and I want you to flash. 4 divided by 2. It says to write a complete number sentence. Good. Good. Complete number sentence. You complete number sentence. Look at what what the what the example is. Okay. Okay. I like how some of you gave me the answer. Oh, okay, so let's start our concept development. What is our objective today again? What is our objective? Do you remember? Kayra? Relate fractions as a division to fraction of a sentence. Last question. In a class of 24 students, five, six are boys. Ooh, that's a lot of boys in the class. How many boys are in each class? I want you to talk to your group about how you could solve this. Go. Okay, let's talk about it. How many, how many students are in the entire class? Random, um, Cody. Kara? Random. Cody. Cody, how many um, students are in the class? The question is, how many boys are in the class? So what fraction of the whole class of 24 are boys? How, what is it? Did you already solve it? You saw, okay, go ahead. How many are girls? We, we're going to assume how, assume how many are girls? Four. What fraction? Four twenty-four. Or? One, one six. One six. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we know five six are boys, so one six is girls. Okay? We are trying to find five, five six of what? But it's five six. How do we know it's more than half, Marissa? Because three six is a half. Okay. And five six means it's more than. Okay. Okay. Let's. So five six of twenty four. Now, can you solve it? Yes. Okay. What is it? What is it, Dominic? You already saw. Twenty. Twenty. Do y'all agree? Yes. How do we know? Yes. Because four times five equals twenty. Four times five equals twenty. Okay, and is it twenty? Yanni, Autumn, you got it. Twenty-four divided by six equals four. Oh, twenty-four divided by six equals four. How many are in each group, Evan? Four. Four are in each group. So, if four are in each group, that's why you multiply it by five. Okay? Christian? How many of these? Five. Five of them? One, two, three, four, five. So, all of this is boys. Right? Yes. And so, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. And so, this is the girls. So 20 boys, 4 girls. Oh, MG. Okay, let's look at your problem set. And then we'll close out. Must do 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? 1, 2, three and four, independent. My lesson objective of relating fractions as division to fractions of a set was met. My students were given their exit ticket before and after the lesson. I wanted to see how much of a change of learning took place after students completed the problem set and exit ticket after the lesson. Of my 49 students, 42 completed the exit ticket after the lesson with no errors. The other seven got most of the exit ticket correct with the minimal amount of errors. We will be moving on to multiplying whole numbers by fractions. This is connected to what students learn today. Thank you so much.